and welcome to WKP. Today we're going to be doing another forecast on the storm system that's going to be moving through the southern United States today that could bring some strong gusty winds and possibly small hail throughout uh, the areas affected. So that's what the Weather Channel has been saying for quite a few days. And as you can see, it looks like a ton of of little areas where there could be some small hail have already popped up along the storm system. As we go on out through today, we're going to see the effects starting earlier as of now um, in Louisiana. As these storms push forward on into Florida, we will see these uh, storms start to affect those areas. And we could even see effects as far down as Palatka in Florida. But um, the panhandle of Florida and northeast Florida are likely to see the effects of this storm. So there is also right now, as um, we speak, a flood watch in effect for New Orleans, Louisiana. And this is because of all the rain that we're going to be seeing from the storm system. So how much rain are we going to see? Let's take a look at the GFS model for that forecast. Um, the GFS doesn't look like it's predicting much rain today, but in the next 12 hours, we could see plenty of rain throughout Louisiana and into the panhandle of Florida, actually up to around six inches in those areas. So if you live in those areas, expect some really heavy rain. And I would put a flood watch in some of those areas, especially low-lying areas where we're going to see that very high rain chance. So that is really all the rain we're going to get from this storm but it's also looking like we could see some higher gusty winds today. So for New Orleans, uh, we could see gusts around today at 26 miles per hour, and these are wind gusts, but uh, with storm cells, there's always a chance, you know, we could see higher. Let's move on into Florida. So for Florida, we're going to see some uh, strong winds gusts around this afternoon, right when the storms are moving in around 5 p.m., uh, around 22 miles per hour, not too bad. And in some areas, there is likely stronger tomorrow and into Tuesday. We're going to also see some very strong winds. But again, as storm fronts move through, the wind is likely right before the storm hits. So we could see some strong gusty winds. And it's looking like we will see possibly see some small hail. But the biggest threat out of all this um, storm system is definitely the rain since we're going to see a quite a bit of rain. Now, I do want to warn you, there is a possibility, a quite likely possibility, nothing bad will happen. But because of what the Weather Channel is saying and how consistent it's, uh, the forecast has been over the past few days, we should keep a close eye on the storm. And we also need to keep a close eye on it again because of this rain. The rain is likely the biggest threat for this entire storm system as of now. Thank you for watching. This has been WKP. Please stay tuned for more updates on this storm. Bye.